people know the difference between playing politics, bowing to cancel culture, and the truth. Let the review proceed. I'm not going to resign. Governor Cuomo is brushing off calls by most of New York's congressional delegation for him to resign. The growing list includes powerful senior House Democrats like Jerry Nadler and Carolyn Maloney and younger progressives like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Mondaire Jones. We have to move forward in New York State. Uh, and we must move forward with a leader in whom we can be confident. The slew of calls to resign comes a day after Albany police began looking into the most recent claim against Cuomo, which a police spokesman says may rise to the level of a crime. The governor's office actually referred the matter to police after the Albany Times Union reported an aide claims Cuomo groped her inside the governor's mansion. As these claims mount, the majority of state lawmakers have now publicly said Cuomo should step down, and the state assembly has opened an impeachment investigation. I was afraid that my livelihood might be in danger if indeed I ever did choose to say something. One of the governor's accusers, Anna Liss, is also speaking out tonight about attempts by the governor's staff to keep her silent as other women began coming forward and the governor continuing to say his accusers may have other motivations. We're all being called liars and I find that really offensive and problematic. There's also a seventh accusation being leveled against the governor tonight by way of an article in New York Magazine where a young journalist in Albany describes unwanted attention and comments from the governor that made her uncomfortable when she was beginning her political reporting career. Live from the governor's Midtown office, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.